students and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching a very important aspect of chemistry which is called sulfur and its allotrope. Now, sulfur is a group 6 element, precisely a charcoal gene. Now, sulfur exists in different forms in the same physical state, that's allotrope. Now, the allotropes of sulfur are basically classified into the crystalline and the amorphous allotrope. Now, let's talk about the crystalline allotrope of sulfur. This is the crystalline and also divided into the amorphous allotrope. Now, for the crystalline allotrope of sulfur, it is divided into rhombic and monoclinic sulfur. While the amorphous allotrope of sulfur is divided into amorphous sulfur. And the plastic sulfur. Now, let's talk about the crystalline halotropes of sulfur. Now, rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur. Now, for the rhombic sulfur, Rhombic sulfur has a shape which is octahedra in shape. Octahedra in shape. While for the monoclinic sulfur, it has a needle shape. A needle shape. Now, let's talk about the density of rhombic sulfur. Now, rhombic sulfur has a density which is approximately 2.08 gram per cm cube. Now, the density of rhombic sulfur is approximately 2.08 gram per cm cube, while for the monoclinic sulfur is approximately 1.98 grams per cm cube. Now, let's quickly talk about the color of the rhombic sulfur. Rhombic sulfur has a bright yellow color. Okay, now for the monoclinic sulfur, it has an amber color. Now, rhombic sulfur is also called alpha sulfur. While monoclinic sulfur is also called the beta sulfur. Beta sulfur is also called the prismatic sulfur. The prismatic sulfur. Now, for the rhombic sulfur, it has a melting point which is 113 degree centigrade. So the melting point of the rhombic sulfur is 113 degree centigrade, while the melting point of the monoclinic sulfur is approximately 119 degree centigrade. Now, it should be noted that sulfur exists in different forms in the same physical state. For the crystalline, allotrope of sulfur, we have rhombic and monoclinic sulfur. Now, rhombic sulfur exists below a temperature which is 96 degrees centigrade, while monoclinic sulfur exists above a temperature which is 96 degrees centigrade. So, this temperature is called the transition temperature. Now, it should be noted that the type of allotropy seen in sulfur is called enantiotropy because it has transition temperature that differentiates between 
either of the crystalline allotropes. But for carbon and oxygen, we have no transition temperature. It means that carbon and oxygen exist a special type of allotropy which is called monotropy. So it means that for the rhombic sulfur, it exists below 96 degrees centigrade. This is for the rhombic sulfur. While for the monoclinic sulfur, it exists above 96 degrees centigrade. This is for the monoclinic sulfur. So with this, are the explanations on sulfur and its allotropes. Thanks for watching.